So, um, Hilker, in, in your experience, how would you go about creating a business case for a corporate that's wanting to automate, let's say, both their payments and, and statements? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the most obvious one is time savings in the finance department. So basically FTE savings. And that's that's the time that is spent on logging into bank portals uh, in multiple countries by multiple people, but add time for error resolvement because there is there will be human errors. So you need to take a percentage on top of that time to, uh, to account for that resolving errors. It will differ per business how how much that is but we typically somewhere right. see somewhere between half an ft for an sme maybe up to 10 ft for a multinational with people in multiple countries logging into these uh, systems so that's the cost uh, the, the the cost saving side of the equation uh, on the other side you have of course the cost of the automation and and like we just said, the, the software benefits, the non-monetary uh, benefits, security risks, uh, lower security risks, easier audits, uh, because a manual process like this with bank portals will come up during audits and you wanna you don't wanna have too much stuff coming up during audits. To me, that's part of the business case as well. And the effect that human error has on your business, on your 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 brand submitting incorrect payments, yeah, that that could be uh, damaging to your to your business to your brand so yeah, you need to take that into account as well